This is just a quick tutorial for those of you who don't have Eclipse installed to write Java programs. You can use this online GDB website at onlinegdb.com and you don't need to install any software and you can still test and save your Java programs. So the first thing you have to do once you go to the website is to make sure you select Java as your programming language because it does a bunch of different languages. That'll generate your uh, a class called main, which you could rename. Um, I should probably rename it. Um, uh, the one that I want to do, uh, the program I want to solve is called surfs up. So I'm going to make that change. Um, I also modified my name and the date and a description of what this program is going to do up here. So just to flip over to um, for a second here, this is the problem we're going to solve here is just create an application that prompts a user for a wave height and displays great day for surfing if the waves are six feet and over. So if we go back to um, the online GDB, so the first thing we need to do is to prompt them for input. So we can do system.out.println and we can just prompt them with a message saying enter the wave height. And after that, semicolon here, uh, we can test it if we want. We can just run it and it should compile the program and it says, um, oh, okay, because I think it's in a class called main right now. So I don't think unless I save it, I can, um, and I can't save it without making an account, which I don't really want to do. So, um, but many students do it. If you feel like you want to have online GDB keep track of all your programs for you, you can make a login and save it all there. Um, for me, I'm just running a quick demo, but I prefer Eclipse, so. Okay, so here we go, enter the wave height. That's what this did, and I'm gonna just make a comment here to say as an internal comment what this line of uh, code is doing. So I'll just say input prompt, just so you know that that thing is called an input prompt. Uh, then I need to get user input after this. Uh, so what I need to do is, first of all, I need to import java.util.scanner. This is in the textbook. Show you how to do this um, to set up a scanner, which is used to get user input. So I'm going to actually construct the scanner. Maybe I'll do that before this line. I, I always like to make my objects at the top. Scanner input equals new scanner system with a capital S because it's a class dot n. So now that I've made my uh, scanner object, I can actually use it to get user input. I know that I'm going to need a variable that's going to be an integer and I'm going to call it wave height. Oops. height. Um, I'll fill it up right here though with a value. So I'll say wave height. Um, I want that to be assigned the value that comes from my input. Uh, object, which is my scanner, uh, and I just say next int because I want the next integer that gets typed on the keyboard. So now comes the um, chapter five part, which is to make an if statement. So I want to say if uh, wave height, um, if that is greater than or equal to, I'm sorry, greater than or equal to six. And I want to put a message, great day for surfing. So I can do my system out dot print line. And I want to say great day for surfing. Okay, and if I do that and I run it, it's going to ask me, ah, I'm missing a semicolon there. It's going to ask me to enter a number. If I put in a six or bigger, if I put a six here, it's gonna say, great day for surfing. If I rerun it with something less, then it'll not put anything. That's basically it. 